everyone. Welcome everyone. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swooshing and reviewing the market. Uh, we'll see if my read here of the market turns out to be true. It was pretty much against the grain of everything that anyone said on the planet. And, uh, <clears throat> and even I was double, triple checking myself every day because the market rallied for let's count how many days. One, two, three, four, five. And even today we gapped up. So again, the month of May, <clears throat> we dropped off, which I, which I read that correctly. And then we got to the drop off in here. You can see the bounce, okay? I really have just been stepping back saying, you know, 0% conviction in anything in the market overnight long. Although I will say this did have a lift, okay? And it was not a nothing lift. I mean, it was a lift. Um, but I really... I, I it's the best way I could say it. I mean, I just didn't have conviction. That's, that's the best way I could say it. Because in my mind, the follow through wasn't going to happen to take us over the high. So we'll see if, if that's the correct view I'm say, seeing of this here. I mean, obviously, we got very close to the high today. Um, you know, I don't know what percentage it was. In fact, let me figure it out. Let's just figure it out exactly here. It was like 3% last week. And then it was 2%. I mean, we might have been 1% off the high. Let's just figure it out. To be exact, I like to be exact, 294.95. Today we ran up to 291.40. 1 percent off the high we were today. And we are falling so I guess you know again I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not saying that I'm bearish in the market that's not what I'm saying here I'm not saying we change trends we're still on an uptrend that's not what I'm saying at all what I've been saying is that the way that I've been reading this market since I don't know a couple weeks ago was that the summer was going to be totally 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 messed up meaning volatility wild swings um, and really no concrete follow through higher, which everyone would think because of the rallies, like the rally we just had in the last week to get up over the high. And no follow through is important because again, if you, if you have, if you're, if you're an active trader, you can trade on the day and get out. Okay. You can do that with options too. Even if you take something out for a week or two weeks or a month, you can take a trade and get out the same day. But anyways, what I'm saying is, though, <clears throat> the people are looking at this like it's going to have the follow through because we have been strong. We are strong. We've been very strong this year. I just didn't see that this summer. I'm talking June, July, you know, pretty much August. I mean, I could change my tune at the end of August, but I'm just seeing this summer period, which we're in the summer now. It's June. It's June 11th. I just didn't see that the market would have a nice, easy peasy type of move higher and over the high like we saw earlier in the year when we just kept rallying and then we did go over the high in April and uh, it was, a, I mean, really for the first four months of the year, the mortgage was rallied straight up vertical. Here you have it. And this is January, boop, right all the way up. So we were getting so close to the high that every day I was like, okay, do I see anything different? Is there anything different here? Is there anything different? And I, I just didn't see anything different. And then, then one of my friends said, well, when are you going to change your opinion? Like, when are you going to, what, what is going to make you see something different? I said, when we get over the high. <laughs> I said, until we, unless, if we get over the high, then I'll say, oh, we're over the high. But, you know, that'll change my opinion on this summer. I'm not saying that we don't make a new highs in the market at all in 2019. I'm just looking at this summer trading period. I felt that would be very back and forth, very whippy, very volatile, and not have the concrete follow through. But really, if you went long the market at any point here in the last week as a day trade, you made money. And if you held it overnight, you were up in the next day if you had a good price in something. But now today you're seeing selling. So you're seeing selling today and whether or not the shorts will come in here after this bar it's very early in the day to say it's 1 a lot of time left in the day so really i mean we're just gonna have to keep watching but this market will not bounce at all today this isn't really going to recover here today between now and the close way too big of a sell-off here right out of the gate almost in fact let me look at that very quickly too Yep, right out of the gate. Yep, I'm going to follow the rest of the day. All right, good luck, everyone. We'll see what happens. We'll see. 
Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like a trial to the live trading room. Next Golden Gap course is June 22nd and 23rd. Doing a second class in June, have a lot of interest. People signed up already for that class that couldn't get into past class this weekend. So we're gonna see what happens. This should be a very profitable summer. Uh, I've been very, very good at calling things. So uh, I'm gonna continue to stay focused, get my rest and stay on track. Have a great day, everyone.